Hi, I'm Andrew, and in this mini episode of Red Wolf TV, we have Christoph here, a very special guest, visiting us after how long? I think it's been four years, but I think it's a long yeah, time. Yeah. yeah, with all the COVID stuff, I couldn't, mm. couldn't. I would love to visit, but it wasn't possible. Yeah, it was a bit impossible. But today, we are actually taking a look at new exclusive product being released right now, the SSP5 5.1. So, yeah, we do the honors of taking a look at it. Open yeah. it. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Check that out. Wow. Wow. So there we go. You know, largely similar to the original SSP 5, but yeah, uh, 5 foot 1 barrel. So, I mean, uh, what's the design philosophy, the reasons behind it, Chris? Um, basically, the feature set is very similar to the SSP 5 6 inch version, um, but many people ask us, hey, why did you make a 1.5 joule pistol that hops 0.5 gram BBs, right? Um, you cannot use that in CQB, you cannot use it as a secondary because it shoots too hard, it's a bit too long. Um, and this is why we came out with the 5.1. Now a bit of the history, why did we start with the powerful one? It's because we really wanted to have a pistol that you can take to a woodland game, right? You shoot just like an AG, um, you can hop those heavy BBs so you outrange most of them actually even. Uh, but yeah, people just said, hey, I wanna, you know, it's a snappy, nice gun, I can put the red around it, it's really low, it's, why can I not use this in CQP? And that really inspired us, obviously, to make the 5.1 version, because this one now shoots under uh, one tool, which makes it feel legal for pretty much all CQP fields, um, and it's also much more wieldable as a secondary. Yeah, because, I mean, one of the great strengths of the original was how accurate it was, it was able to basically replace your primary weapon. It was shooting it strong enough, and as you might have seen in the previous review of it, you could easily hit targets over 30 meters away with this. So the lower power obviously makes it far better as a secondary, mm -hmm. you know, uh, for, what was it? So for sites that may have minimum engagement distances, right? So yeah, this looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, the light split slide as well. Nice trigger. Yeah, so, I mean, could you go and talk to us about your sort of the sort of design philosophy behind this? Like whether it's like the, the type of grips or mm -hmm. the general aesthetics of it, yeah. you know, what inspires, you know, the SSP5 series? So, generally speaking with the SSP5 series, we wanted to build a highly efficient pistol that kind of disregards realism in a sense, yeah? We just wanted to make a pistol that's for the airs of player. And therefore we, you know, it's not about recoil. We didn't want to make a gun that kicks hard and gives you like that, that realism. Yeah. Um, we also went with split slide, which in the 2011, you know, world, that's mm -hmm. not a thing yet. This is not a, a gun replica anymore in a sense. I mean, it's still, you know, it still reassembles the basic yeah. shape of a gun, but that doesn't follow any uh, rig steel model. And because we went with this efficient route, you know, with the split slide, we also decided to really lighten this gun as much as we can, especially on the moving part which is why we went with a polymer blowback housing, which is uh, quite unique in the industry. I think no one else did this yet. Um, also, we know that people who use high cappers a lot, they tend to go towards CNC aluminum slides, yeah? mm. uh, caster slides, the break, plastic yeah. ones, they were out over time as well. So we really optimized this design to make it, um, you know, to be able to CNC it for an effective cost. So this is based on an extrusion profile and machined. So it really cuts down on cost, but you still get the, the material properties of a CNC machine slide. Then we wanted the TDC. That's mm. also not realistic, you know, no gun yeah. has a screw on the top. Uh, we wanted that because I, I always disliked how you kind of shoot your gun, then you, you know, take off the slide, you adjust it, you put mm. it back on, you shoot, oh, take it off, adjust it, put it back on. You know, here you can put in the Allen key, you shoot, adjust, shoot, adjust. Good done, and you put it into our holes actually has a yeah. an Allen key um, hole in there. Then also we wanted to have an extremely low sitting red dot because I, I don't know if you tried much. One of the lowest red, red dots in the industry. I think really. it's the lowest actually. Yeah. We wanted to make it in a way that I can have um, standard height sights, but you can still look down the dot. So even if you train with iron sights, you can say yeah. I, I cannot shoot, you know, open. I, I don't want to shoot with a red dot because I cannot find the dot. Here you have both actually. You align your iron sights and you have the dot right on top there. Yeah. Also not realistic because it sits so low, it, mm -hmm. it would be on a uh, real fire, it would be inside the barrel already. <laughs> yeah. But on a 6mm you can do that, you know, literally yeah. when you take, when you remove this cover, you can see the inner barrel, yeah. Yeah. that's how low it is. 
Yeah, overall, absolutely impressive. I mean, as you said, it's a gun designed by airsofters for airsofters to excel in airsoft. So you can't really much get much better than that. So yeah, overall, I mean, it feels great. It's really light. Um, you know, the shorter slide, the shorter barrel, I mean, it makes it less front heavy. You know, you can mm. really maneuver it fast. And yeah, like the six inch version was the primary replacement. And this is works fantastic as a secondary, it seems. Yeah. That's it, yeah. yeah. So overall, as you can see here, absolutely fantastic weapon. Uh, this is now available on www.redwolfairsoft.com or direct from Novrich itself. And yeah, thanks so much, Christoph, here for visiting us after so long. It's been great seeing you. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much. And yeah. <laughs>